Welcome back to the channel, Hobby Wong Kenobi here. Please do remember to like this video if you enjoy this content and consider subscribing to the channel. Well, now I begin work on the Hasegawa FA-18C in 1 48th scale. I have to admit, I never really thought I would build this aircraft. As a young person, I was always interested in the F-14, F-15, and F-16, but never the Hornet. However, I visited our local hobby store recently and the box art for this kit jumped out to me and I immediately decided to build it. Having worked on this kit for a few weeks now, I have a newfound appreciation for this aircraft and I plan to build more in the future. In this video, I will add some details to the cockpit walls, start painting the cockpit, add an oil wash, start construction on the fuselage and wings, then start working on the ejection seat. There is a lot going on in this video, so stick around. I started this kit by first marking out where the cockpit tub meets the walls. This area is marked so I could add the framing often found along the walls of cockpits. These pieces were added with square shaped evergreen plastic strips. They were glued with CA and Tamiya extra thin cement. Once the strips were in place, they were trimmed with a scalpel. The fuselage halves were dry fit at this point to make sure the strips were trimmed well. The inner fuselage, cockpit tub, and control panel then were airbrushed with coats of gray. Next, I added a drop of Vallejo model color black to my wet palette, and I began painting. I like to work from the edges first, then work paint into the center of each panel. I find it's a good idea to really take some time finding just the right balance of water and paint to ensure good viscosity. Now, slips will happen and it's important to try not to stress over mistakes at this point. I always expect to go over these areas again with the gray and many times we'll have to return to the black paint to touch up even more. After all of the touch-ups, these pieces received a coat of Mission Models gloss. Once that was dried, I was able to apply an oil wash to bring out details by adding shadows. To make the wash, I use Windsor & Newton Artist Oils. Black and white is mixed to make a dark gray, and I thin everything down with turpenoid. The wash is applied liberally, then allowed to dry. The excess is then removed with a soft brush and Q-tips and the cockpit then received a coat of Tamiya Clear Flat. Next, it was time to put the top portion of the wings on the lower wing parts. I took a lot of time to make sure these pieces fit well. I ended up removing the alignment pins to ensure a better fit. As usual, Tamiya Extra Thin was used to fuse the pieces together.
The nose cone was put together in the order called out in the instructions. However, the next time I build a Hasegawa Hornet, I will glue each nose cone half to each side of the fuselage, then bring the halves together. I did have to work down some unevenness with sanding sticks. After attempting to make my own intake tubes and failing, I decided I will eventually cover the intakes with FOD covers. The intakes had fit issues, so I built up the area around the lip of the intakes with CA glue and zip kicker. The way I like to do this is to use simply one toothpick. I will bite one side of the toothpick to flatten it. This side will be used to soak up some of the zip kicker. The zip kicker is then placed on the part. The pointy end of the stick then takes a drop of CA glue, which is then placed on the zip kicker. Another drop of zip kicker is placed on the side of the CA drop, and I will angle the model so the zip kicker will move to the CA glue and harden it. This process is repeated until enough material is built up. Sanding sticks are then used to work down the material so it is flush. Panel lines were then rescribed. Finally, I decided to scrape the inside of the ejection seat walls to thin them out. This is one of my favorite ways to enhance the look of injection molded ejection seats. Next, I used a two-part epoxy or putty called the Green Stuff. I'm not quite sure what it is, but this product starts as two separate pieces, one a yellow color, the other a blue color. The material is rolled until mixed, then I place it onto the ejection seat to make a texture for the seat cushions. I used a rubber sculpting tool to shape the material and smooth it out. The following photos show the final look of the ejection seat. Buckles were an Annie's product. The seatbelt straps are Tamiya tape. Other details were added using styrene and wire. If you would like to see me work on these seatbelts, be sure to click on my live stream 5 video. Well, that does it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.